Hi, and welcome to the California Convenings in August of 2024. Today, my name is Stephanie Bauer, and I'm the HiSET Account Manager, and I'll be talking to you about the HiSET Proficiency Program on behalf of the California Department of Education. Today's agenda includes the proficiency application process, checklists for eligibility approval, the testing experience, the photo identification policy, transcripts and certificate, and some tips for test takers. The proficiency application process. Um, in order to work through the proficiency application process, the first thing that you will need to do is create a California My High Set Proficiency account. The correct URL for this is https colon front slash front slash test hyphen takers dot psiexams.com front slash high set CA proficiency front slash off front slash login. If needed, submit a request for exam accommodations at the same time you are applying for your eligibility. Submit the high set proficiency approval request form available on our website with a high school transcript and any additional documentation that's required. And we'll talk a little bit more about additional documentation that may be needed moving forward. Wait for eligibility and accommodations approval, if applicable, before you schedule. Eligibility approval timeline is typically between seven to 10 business days. If all process steps are followed and all necessary documentation is submitted, Approval timeline fluctuates with volume. The standard checklist for eligibility approval contains the following elements. We must have the test taker name, the test taker birth date validating age, CDS code or school name to verify the CDS code, enrollment in grade 10 for one school year or longer, or enrolled in the second semester of grade 10 if applicable. Non-official transcripts are acceptable. However, grade reports, individualized learning plans, or other non-transcript documents are not acceptable. If a transcript is not available, a test taker may submit a letter from a district administrator, principal, counselor, registrar, or et cetera, on school letterhead and include contact information and verifying the current enrollment and grade level, as well as age. Private and homeschool checklist for eligibility approval. This checklist includes the test taker name, test taker birth date validating age, private school affidavit, and current enrollment in grade 10 for one school year or longer, or enrolled in the second semester of grade 10 if applicable. Again, as in the previous checklist, non-official transcripts are acceptable, grade reports, individualized learning plans, or other non-transcript documents are not acceptable. If a transcript is not available, a test taker may submit a letter from the administrator that is listed on the private school affidavit that indicates current enrollment and grade level and age. The checklist for out-of-state with California work permit for eligibility approval includes test taker name, test taker birth date validating age, a current non-expired California work permit, enrollment in grade 10 for one school year or longer or enrolled in the second semester of grade 10 if applicable. As in the previous checklists, non-official transcripts are acceptable, grade reports, Individualized learning plans and other non-transcript documents are not acceptable. And in this case, if a transcript is not available, the test taker may also submit a letter from a district administrator, a principal, counselor, registrar, etc., on school letterhead, including contact information and verifying current enrollment and grade level as well as age. Resources to plan for the exam. The following resources are available at HiSET.org. Test Taker Bulletins, HiSET Test at a Glance, Sample Questions, the HiSET Study Companion. We also have free Khan Academy math tutorial videos 
and free HiSET practice tests that are downloadable, as well as free online practice tests within the My HiSET Proficiency account. Those resources are available for all students to prepare before the exam. The testing experience. 73% of all tests taken in proficiency are test at home. Some key tips for test at home, you must have a stable, consistent internet connection. And we ask that you double check the technical requirements and test at home policies, such as visibility on camera. That is very important. Also confirm that the registration has made at the correct time, 3 p.m. versus 3 a.m. as our uh, test at home proctors are available at a variety of times and may include overnight hours. 26% of all tests taken are computer-based tests in a test center and less than 1% of all tests taken are paper-based tests in a test center. So when you're testing at a test center, double check the test center policies and location before you go and arrive early to complete that check-in. The photo identification policy. Test takers must be prepared to present one of the following at the test center. California driver's license or ID card, a passport or a consular identification card. A school photo ID card may be deemed acceptable if they contain a clear photo and are associated with a verified image in the student's information system, SIS. To this end, test takers must be able to provide a downloadable verification of their transcript via their SIS. This process will ensure that the transcript and accompanying information are both valid and legitimate. Transcripts and certificates. Test takers have access to their comprehensive score report in their My HiSET account. Electronic transcripts and certificates will also be provided to test takers separately from their My HiSET account. Physical copies of the transcript and certificate will be mailed to the address on the test taker's My HiSET account, and it's very important that that address is filled out. Processing may take up to 14 weeks, although uh, processing recently has been much quicker. Districts receive a roster of passing test takers each quarter. Um, the CDS code of the data is self-reported, so if there is a student available that is not necessarily associated with that uh, school, it's because the data is self-reported. HiSET contacts for test taker support. Test taker services will support also the California proficiency uh, test takers, but it is very important to specify that the inquiry is for California proficiency. By phone, they can reach them at 1-855-MY-HI-SET, and they are available Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific time, and then Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. You can also email them at support at psionline.com, or if you are working through an accommodations, you can reply um, to the proficiency eligibility approval message. Exam accommodations by phone, 1-800-367-1565, extension 6750, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time, and then by email at ealerts at psi.com. Tips for test takers. It's important to use all of the resources available prior to testing or retesting. This includes teachers or educators within the current institution for help. Apply for accommodations at the same time the eligibility application is submitted. Avoid risking a poor testing experience or outcome by not applying for accommodations that may be needed, especially for test at home test takers. Also avoid sending multiple emails and creating multiple support cases for the same inquiry or approval. This often delays response time because we have to reference all the open tickets in order to respond. If there is a testing concern or absence, contact test taker services immediately. That concludes our information. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.